guys. Okay, not a big deal for some, but this is so sick. They warm this up, and then wow, you got rice, and you can just slip it in like that. Wow, look at that. Good morning. We are here at Kobe. Yeah, on Ikuta Road. There looks like a lot of Kobe restaurants around here. Yeah, so there's a lot of Kobe beef steak restaurants. So that's the reason why we're here. We want to try the best, the best of the best from the source. Pretty expensive, yeah. but you know, know, once in a lifetime. So we're maybe here. not once, maybe twice. <laughs> yeah. But also, Kobe is known for its um, Chinatown area. Tomorrow is Chinese New Year, so we'll see if there's anything. Yeah, we'll see if there's anything bustling around there as well. We managed to get a table without getting reservations. So, if you want to eat Kobe without booking anything, get it nice and early. It's 11 a.m. We haven't had a coffee yet. Uh, inside the outside is the outside is hard. Okay. Mm. Well, share. Yeah. 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 Uh, how do you like to speak? Medium bread. Medium bread. Is that chef for today? Yeah. So put the salt in it. Wow. Mmm, Nelsi Kev really enjoying it. Mm -hmm. Because it's such good marbling, you don't need any seasoning and it just tastes so good still. Okay. It's very, very juicy. It's uh -huh. sushi toro. Uh -huh. Toro beef. Oh, so it's toro beef. Very very soft. So the next piece is equivalent to the um, tuna um, toro, like the belly side. So it should be very fatty and very juicy. This is Japanese sweet potato. No dressing, no sauce, no seasoning at all. This is the toro beef part with just a little bit of salt. Mm. Very buttery, yeah. So good, so fresh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. The bean sprout with 
the fatty parts of the um, core beef. So Kev quickly searched up this restaurant last night. I found this and honestly. It was in the, the list of the top Kobe restaurants in sorry, top steak restaurants in Kobe. Mm. Same thing as top Kobe restaurants in Kobe but <laughs> Very busy area here. Yeah. Feels like I'm back in China. Uh, actually, it feels like I'm in Cabra. Yeah. Honestly. We're trying to see where everyone's lining up for, but I'm looking for something sweet because I've had yeah. savory. Everything already. has a line here. Yeah. yeah, literally. The line has a line. Sweet potato sauce. So you've got sauce served here, sweet potato crisp, and then you've got the roasted sweet potato at the bottom here. Simple sauce serve, but I love sauce serve. Mmm. Kind of reminds me of banana crisp. Oh yeah. Sauce serve and the potato. Sesame, we got the sweet caramel sugar. Good morning. So we're in Hiroshima. Um, finally left our luggage in the hotel at the knot. In terms of transportation, caught the Shinkansen at around 8.44 a.m. That went smoothly. Got to Hiroshima. There were no coin lockers available. So we were lugging it around trying to find available coin lockers in the station. None were available. And then after that, I had to figure out how to get to the hotel. Um, they primarily use the street cart, so the trams. But the trams were our first time using it too, so it was really hard to navigate like where to transfer and how to get to where we want to go, basically. So we are just jumping off street carts and all that stuff, so it was really annoying trying to figure things out for the first time um, together. But yeah, we're at Hiroshima, so it's 12.34, pretty cold outside, we're going to explore the memorial parks, 
uh, Atomic Dome. Kev's pretty tired as well, so we've got to get maybe a second coffee to lift our energy up. But yeah. It's almost like putting maple syrup on your pancakes. I'm trying the special cheese version. Wow. Yum. What does it remind you of here? Canberra. We're back in Canberra City. There's a lot more people here than Canberra. That's for sure, but same vibes. Oh my god! Clock, so almost dinner time but we're so tired from the travel we've gone through a couple of sites and key tourist areas and now we're here and I bumped into a bakery that sells mostly specializing in curry pan so let's test try I bought we bought two curry pan and then one bun that's that I believe has been in it Maybe red bean, I'm assuming it's red bean. Mmm, uh huh. I think this is the classic curry pan. The casing is pretty light, very thin, so not too filling, but it tastes really good. So, this is their number one. It looks really different. Look at that. It looks very oily. Oh, oh! I shouldn't be eating this. There's like this tomato filling in the center. It has carrots, a bit of like meat in there. That's really good. Night like in Sunland convenience food. I've got chicken, egg, rice. Kev's got a bunch of what's going on with hamburger and some other meats. We've got some soup, the potato and beef croquette with the sauce that goes with it. And then I got the salad, and we have My Hero Academia. It's so good. I know. Getting so into it. Let's go.